hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back today's video is going to be my weekly shower pamper routine i'm going to share with you the entire process including all the products that i use that i will review as we go please make sure you check the description box for links on where you can get all these products and enjoy the routine if you're new to my channel my name is wangoi i create self-care and lifestyle content so do make sure you subscribe for more like this I like to make my pamper session a little special so I set out a nice screen saver on my TV. I light some candles and I set out a fresh towel and robe to wear later after my shower. So usually I start with dry brushing which is a practice that I learned really help with exfoliating especially if you have dry skin. So I've been dry brushing for quite some time and I can say it's helping to remove dead skin. It also helps to circulate your blood better under the skin and it's just a nice practice to do before you take a shower. So I start dry brushing and I learned that you need to dry brush from the ends of your body to one the heart and also around your lymph nodes to help with the circulation and also the elimination of waste yeah so that's what I start with and then I take a shower right after this For this first wash, I use the Hermosa shower cream and a bath net. And then I go ahead and exfoliate my body using exfoliating gloves and this Dove exfoliating body scrub. I love the scent so much and it forms a little which is a plus. I like to take my time exfoliating as I said I have dry skin and I also have hyperpigmentation on my body skin so I've been trying to do this at least twice a week to help even out my skin but also remove the dead skin.
after exfoliating i go in for my second wash using this dove purely pampering shower gel and this fluffy loofah i love this shower gel so much it's very moisturizing and as you can tell i get products that have shea butter since i have dry skin to just help you know bring back the moisture back into the skin and try not to strip it of its natural oils I like the Vagisil Feminine Wash and I love that it forms so well and it leaves me feeling so fresh. Next up is my facial cleanser. I use the CeraVe Foaming Cleanser. It's perfect for my skin as I have oily combination skin on my face. It forms really well and I feel like it removes all the dirt without stripping my face of its natural oils. I've been using this for the last, I would say, year and it's my preferred facial cleanser. I love that it has ceramides that help to protect the skin barrier. As I've mentioned, I have extremely dry skin on my body, so I use the Ole Rinse Off Body Conditioner. This brings back the moisture onto my skin, and I don't need to really go heavy with the body care products after my shower. It makes my skin feel like it's locked in with moisture, and it's honestly the best thing that I've done for my body this year. It's so nice to apply, has a lovely scent, but you have to be really careful. It makes your bathroom slippery, so if you do use it make sure you rinse your bathroom nicely so that you don't fall we don't want you falling <laughs> I like to work it into my skin slowly so that I make sure every part of my skin gets the conditioner and I just use this moment to contemplate my life problems and issues. <laughs> My shower routine ends there and I know you might wonder did I really wash my feet I did but I realized the camera didn't record so yeah I did use brushes and pumice stones to scrub my feet but even so I had just gotten a pedicure so I didn't need to do much this day That's the end of my shower routine. I like to keep it simple. Well, you might say it's not simple, but to me this is simple. And I love to wear my robe so that I can go ahead and do the rest of my body care.
before I start on my face, I'm going to moisturize my lips. By this time, they were really, really dry. So I used some Aremis for that. And then I am going to use my simple facial toner to tone the skin before I put on a mask. My choice of mask this time around is the Garnier Charcoal Mask. I love how detoxifying it is and it's perfect in the luteal phase which I am in right now. I feel like my skin gets a little oilier than usual so this helps to bring down the oil production. Other times I will do a replumbing mask or a moisturizing mask but this time around I just wanted this detoxifying charcoal mask. I enjoy using a jade roller on my face mask it feels like a little facial massage and i just use it purely for vibes but honestly there are so many benefits to using jade rollers on your skin please do your research and you will see the benefits some of those being lifting up your skin firming up your skin and helping the product seep into your skin better so i use this jade roller for the 15 minutes that i was waiting for the mask to work and it felt so good it felt so good you should try it it's While I wait for my face mask to work, I am going to moisturize the rest of my body. I have been loving this nice and lovely cocoa butter lotion. I like to apply it first after my shower. Remember, I used a body conditioner so my skin is not dry. But I like to go in with it first and then go in with my nice and lovely flawless bio body oil. If you're new to my page, I have been using this oil for the last, I would say, two and a half months. And it's an amazing, amazing product. It's so moisturizing but it's lightweight so it doesn't feel greasy on your skin but moisturizes your skin really well i like to pay attention to my stretch mark prone areas and it's been amazing i use it in the morning first then the lotion then the sunscreen but at night which was almost night time here i start with the lotion and finish with the body oil
For my deal, I'm going to use this Garnier deal that I got as part of a PR package last year and I've been loving it since. My facial mask time is up so I'm going to remove it and massage my face. Again, I'm going to use this gua sha to massage the serum into my skin. It feels so good. It's just like regular massages but for your face. I'm going to link where I got the jade roller and gua sha set so you can buy it if you're looking for such kind of vibes. The rest of my facial routine includes the ordinary niacinamide. I apply this first and then go in with my Cosar X peptide eye cream and later on finish with my CeraVe moisturizing lotion. I'm going to leave links to where I got all these products and their exact names if you want to buy them. But I want to pause here so that we can have our reflections moment as we've been having every week. Before we get to the reflections, I am going to be doing my hair in this video and I am going to leave links to all the products that I will use for my hair and where you can get them. Hand buns, sweet bunnies, it's time for our weekly reflection and today I wanted us to talk about self-care and it's fitting for this video since I'm doing a lot of self-care in this video but I wanted to talk about self-care in depth and what we look at self-care to be and how we perceive it and how we practice it because I realized it's been one of the areas that people have commercialized so much and if you're not doing it the way it looks like online you feel like you're not doing self-care the right way but I'm here to tell you that you don't need the next newest perfume for you to feel like you're taking care of yourself you don't need to jump on that new serum that is trending for you to feel like you're taking care of yourself you don't need to put on a face mask every night for you to feel like you're taking care of yourself taking care of yourself is the most basic things you wouldn't even imagine it's taking time to take that shower while you would have easily just sat on the couch for hours and just not taken the shower it's simply sleeping eight hours a night because it does great things for your mental health and for your physical health it's going outside for a walk to just have some fresh air. It's cooking yourself that nice meal that you have been postponing for the last three days because you feel like you just want to eat crap. Self-care is starting from scratch and grabbing all the ingredients and making yourself that nice yummy hearty meal. Self-care is tidying up your space. And making sure it's clean so you feel comfortable and cozy in your space self-care is calling the friend that you haven't spoken to for years or months and catching up self-care is visiting your mom and buying her bread and chatting with her self-care is journaling it's sitting down and writing your thoughts and feelings and processing them it's not really the newest dress, the newest perfume, the most expensive shower gel, the latest face mask. It's not that. That looks like it for sure and it helps a bit to help you feel like you're taking care of yourself, but it's unnecessary. It's unnecessary. I know as creators and as influencers, we drive this narrative a lot online and we focus so much on things other than feelings 
with self-care you want to focus on how you feel not what you do really it's not about what you do it's how you feel and i will give an example with this my pampa routine that i have shared today when i do it i feel amazing i feel good about myself i feel like i am nurturing my body i feel like i am giving my body what it needs and i also practice my love language to myself which is physical touch it's not my top love language but it's somewhere along the lines there i love touching myself <laughs> and not inappropriately but yeah when i do take these showers and scrub my body and apply my body conditioner and take time to moisturize my body i am practicing physical touch on myself and it makes me feel like i am loving myself the guy that came up with this love languages was not wrong for putting physical touch as one of our love languages so yeah this is how i do it and i do it weekly because it's not a priority for me but when i do it i feel good and i feel like i am loving myself and let me tell you it doesn't even matter what i use it doesn't matter what shower gel i pick for the day it doesn't matter if i have this lotions and creams and oils it doesn't matter what matters is how do i feel when i do it i could basically use a remis and i would feel good because i am chasing the feeling i am not chasing the action so i hope this challenges you to look at self care from a feeling point instead of a doing point so what can you do to feel better what can you do to feel like you're taking care of yourself not to look like you're taking care of yourself to feel like you're taking care of yourself it can be as simple as journaling every day like i do it can be as simple as cooking yourself the nicest meal it can be lounging all day and watching movies it can be sleeping earlier and waking up earlier or later whatever you like it can be anything but just make sure it makes you feel better it makes you feel like you're taking care of yourself it doesn't matter how we see it from this end it doesn't matter so is of the pressure to get the latest perfume is of the pressure to buy the latest shower gel is of the pressure to have a routine that has 27 products is of the pressure to look like you're taking care of yourself feel like you're taking care of yourself i could preach and preach and preach about this topic but all i wanted to pass across is that self care doesn't need to look expensive it doesn't need to look like you're on top of the newest thing in town it doesn't need to look like that so take that break honey go outside for a walk take your simple two product shower you know apply moisturizer on your face if that's the only thing that you have or the only thing that you do drink your water drink your water that's enough self care for today actually you don't have to do so much remember we're chasing the feeling not the action That is all from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed and make sure your post notifications are turned on. Again, I am going to leave every little detail in the description box, so make sure you check on the products where you can get them and how you can use them. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.